With the arrival of ride sharing here in Western New York this year, does that mean that maybe traditional taxis could soon be disappearing? Well, the cab industry is fighting to survive. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tells us, taxis are now threatening to shut down their services on the busiest day of the year in a move to stay alive. This is my only job and income for my family. Mikwan Harami came to this country as a refugee with his family from Kurdistan. I, I do it with a heart. I work long hours. For the past 17 years, he has been a driver for airport taxi service, a job he now fears is in jeopardy because of what Harami believes is unfair competition from ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft. You no, know, every day I am worried. You know, I, I can, like, literally, we can even uh, pay the. Our bills here, you know. The Buffalo taxi industry agrees. It told the Buffalo Common Council yesterday that if something isn't done to level the playing field, the Buffalo taxi industry could be gone within a year. We are being treated by the city like second-class citizens. Cab company owners say Buffalo regulations force them to have higher-cost commercial insurance with set fares. But they argue ride-sharing drivers don't have the same rules, allowing them to operate cheaper while increasing prices during high-demand times. Regulate everybody or don't regulate anybody. To send a message, some cab companies are now threatening to avoid downtown Buffalo on New Year's Eve. I will be taking care of people in the city of Buffalo but I'm not going to concentrate my fleet in downtown Buffalo. On New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve. Well, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Councilman Rich Fontana fears the action could backfire. And while he is concerned about the complaints, he's not sure if much can be done. But if somebody's hell-bent on being an Uber driver, uh, one trip to City Hall is not going to stop them from doing it. Uber said communities that accept ride-sharing must accept the state's regulations without setting their own. And the company said it does raise prices during high-demand times to entice more drivers to be available. But we just want to be treated fairly. That's all we're asking. The Common Council is now planning to look at other cities across the U.S. to see how they deal with the regulation conflict between Uber and Lyft and taxi drivers. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.